So this is my top 7 learnings from running an SMMA in 30 months. My first learning is that forecasting doesn't exist. And I see a lot of people when they start their SMMA, they say, okay, this month do 2K, next month 4K, then I want to do 5K and only have to close this amount of clients. But what I've learned from running an SMMA from 30 months is that forecasting is almost impossible when running a digital marketing agency because you never know whenever your clients are either going to perform good and pay you more. You never know if you'll lose a client. You'll never know if you get two new clients in a week. All of this is completely random. So when you try to forecast when running an agency, you will always become unsuccessful or if you become successful you've become lucky so there's no reason to do a lot of forecasting and worrying oh, okay are we going to hit the budget are we going to hit the mark which I wanted to hit don't worry about that if you just put your head down and focus on getting new clients acquiring better clients and getting better deals then over time you'll make more money and your budget will look better but they will never get there by you spending a lot of time and energy and focus on forecasting the number two thing i've learned from running an smma in 30 months is that fixed fee is better than performance fee and i know to a lot of people this might sound weird because then you don't get paid if you do an extra good job and i get that idea but what i also want to say is that when you get a lot of clients and you have a lot of fixed fee on contracts then you're actually able to predict and be more secure in the amount of money you'll make and this is really important when you want to have your first employee this will help you stabilize your business and make better decisions because you're able to have an idea okay at least by the minimum next month i'll have 5k in income so this makes it a lot easier for you to actually have an expectation of this is the amount of money i'm going to make this is what i can use it for etc and also performance fees is really risky especially in the beginning because in the beginning the clients you usually get is not the great client so these clients are not going to have insane spends and insane revenue and this means if you take a performance fee you can maybe be lucky get 20 percent of revenue what happens is that if that's 20 percent from $500, $1,000, it's completely nothing. So it's much better for you to have a fixed fee, at least 1K a month, make sure you get paid, have a much more stable and secure business, and this will help you in the long run. The number three thing I learned from running an SMMA in 30 months is that there is no secret formula to getting clients. And I hear this all the time, and I get asked this question all the time. Okay, how do you keep on getting new clients? What is your secret formula? How do you do outreaches? How do you do inbound? How do you do sales? All this stuff. And what I can just say to you is that there's not one single secret formula solution that will always secure you and generate your new clients. What you have to do is you have to take five, ten different methods of generating new clients and you have to do all of them. And I know this might sound weird, but sometimes it's from the outreach, sometimes it's from the cold call, sometimes it's from the LinkedIn post you created three weeks ago that you get a new client, but you can never be certain of any of these three methods and not any of the other methods. So it's really important that instead of chasing the secret formula, the winning way of getting new clients, that you just put your head down and focus on doing the methods that works, but they work at scale. This means you have to do them a lot, a long time, and keep doing them consistently in order Order to make them work. Stop focusing on the secret formula and start focusing more on doing the general methods that work and keep doing them until they work for you. The number four thing is a rather unpopular one. A lot of my co-workers don't want me to actually tell you guys this, but running a successful agency, you are successful because of the clients you work with and not because you're good at marketing. And this might seem weird to you, but I've learned this from working with over 50 different e-commerce stores, online courses, all types of clients. And that is that if you want to become successful, you need to be able to acquire good clients that have a nice brand and that they have product to market fit which means they're actually able to sell their product you can do the best marketing with the best creatives and the best copywriting if the product does not have a product to market fit and no one wants to buy the product at the price point you cannot sell it and that's how simple it is my fifth learning is one that not a lot of people agree with me in but it's really crucial if you want to scale your agency and it is higher to scale if you want to scale your agency and i understand a lot of people want this business model of a boutique agency 95 percent profit margins but what i've learned from running an SMMA in 30 months is that hiring will help you scale a lot further and it will help you scale to a point you'll never be able to get with either yourself only or a 95% profit margin. Because if you look at it this way, let's say you can do 30k a month with a 65% profit margin or you can do 10k a month with a 95% profit margin. You'd much rather do 30k because your profits are still higher even though your margin are lower. Also, when hiring, your business becomes an actual business. And this is also what I see a lot of people doing is that they call themselves 
it's a CEO of a one-man company. You cannot be a CEO of a one-man company. You're just working for yourself, actually. It's really important that when you hire, you just level up your company entirely and it makes you able to spend your time more cleverly, not wasting all your time in operations doing ads, but actually spending time on sales and business development, which in the future is what makes the difference from a unsuccessful and a successful agency. So hire to scale. My sixth learning is communication is key. Communication is key when you have bad performance with some of your clients. Let's say one of your clients performance has been bad for let's just say only a week. What we do in our agency is that after just a week of bad performance, we create a full action plan of steps we need to take, new creatives, new copy, new ways of doing stuff, send it to the client, tell them we're not satisfied with the current performance. This is how we'll change it. This shows and tells our client that, okay, these guys, they care about my business. They are really updated on performance and they are honest and transparent. And this is actually what your client cares about. As long as you're doing your best, giving it your all and being honest and transparent, your client won't offboard you. And this brings me to my seventh learning is that it's more important not having a large outflow of clients than it is to have a large inflow of clients. And of course, yeah, you could say if you have zero inflow of clients, then of course it's a bad business. But let's just say you're closing one client a month and you have zero outflow of clients. In two years, you'll have a business doing $25,000 a month. It's as simple as that. It's because if you focus on not getting any outflow in your agency, of course, it's impossible to not lose a client every now and then. But with great communication, if you have employees doing great ads for your clients and spending a lot of time and energy on your clients, you'll keep them for a long time. In our agency, we keep our clients anywhere from 12 to 16 months on an average. So that means when I go out and I close a 2k retainer, that's just $30,000 in revenue like that. And it's simple as that. So it's much more important that you provide a quality service with great communication and being transparent and honest. Because in the long run, when you get employees and you have more and more clients, this is what will bring you success. And there's no success and happiness in having a one man army working 16 hours a day, barely doing 10, 15 K a month with a 95% profit margin. I would much rather do like we're doing right now. We're in Spain on a vacation with my two full time employees, my editor at home doing this video, my Somi manager doing the Somi. Have people work for you and much rather do a 65% profit margin because it gives me the ability to focus on the things which I want to do. I want to do business development. I want to focus on personal branding. And if I am stuck in operations, focusing on the 95% profit margins, making 100K a month and living in the life I've always dreamt about, you're not gonna get that by hustling operations 16 hours a day and making 10K a month. This was today's video. The next video is going to be more of a vlog talking about the team, on vacation what we're doing all this stuff so thank you so much for watching this video leave a like or comment below and have a wonderful day